a statement has been attributed to Buhari and he was said to have said our success against Boko Haram brought Nigeria international pride. This has not gone well with many Nigerians who have witnessed the gruesome killings of some citizens by Boko Haram and other misguided elements under the guise of bandits, kidnappers, and of course, recently, um, Pastor Enoch Adeboye led a protest. He tagged prayer walk against the level of insecurity that we have in Nigeria. And this is another pointer to the fact that the acclaimed decimation of Boko Haram by Buhari and his service chiefs who are currently under immense pressure by prominent Nigerians to be fired. Brutai has been asked to be fired as all the security chiefs are from the same region, the northern part of Nigeria. The statement got a lot of Nigerians reacting as some believe the president may need to ease off by seeking another medical leave considering his inconsistent commentary on an issue that is of utmost security concern to the nation. I'm going to quickly show you tweets of what people are saying as regards this as a lot of people are are saying as regards this as a lot of people are not happy at all yes someone writes i did i hear him right do you know do you see why buhari can never be defeated goodbye nigeria another one said see you in canada bro another one said what is wrong with this man another one say chai this man can never wake up to reality another one said i strongly believe that general buhari need an interpreter for more understanding of the word the word success Another person say supporting this man is the hardest thing to do now. Someone here says today you will worry about the failure of the military against Boko Haram. Tomorrow you will recount the successes. He is confused and is suffering from short-term memory loss and definitely needs help. Where is medically unfit to take us any further in governance? Another person say now I know this mistake of president is really suffering from dementia. Now wow. Now, someone decided to post something about APC, Seven Things Buhari slash Usibanjo would do. You say, create 740,000, 20,000 past date plus FCT jobs. That, that's about job. Um, uh, after NYC, graduates will be paid stipends for one year on that vocational scheme where they are trained on entrepreneur and work um, readiness. And, um, of course, you know, a lot of things that they claim that they were going to do. They said they are going to provide one meal a day for children in public primary schools. I think they've been able to do a little bit of that, although the foods are not, the food are not really up to, you know, what it's supposed to be. They say make monthly direct cash transfer of 5,000 to the 25 million poorest and most vulnerable citizens. I think um, if they immunize their children and enroll them, that is the one that the vice president was seen doing trade our money and sharing some money here and there. They said they are going to generate, they are going to transmit and distribute electricity on a 24-7 um, basis while simultaneously ensuring the development of sustainable renewable energy by 2019. Now, none of this has been done, but somehow they got someone to work in the energy sector and he was so overwhelmed as he could not, he couldn't even um, break. He said, at the beginning, he said electricity, generating electricity is not rocket science. But eventually, I think he realized that it was more than rocket science as the system, you know, the bureaucracy, the red tape, and the way things are done is so, so tiring. And now, Fashola is, more, is now a, the Minister of Works. It, they left that to one Ausa man to see what they can do about it. He's tired of it. And I don't think electricity um, has changed per se. So when you see all of these things that they claim that they were going to do, uh, they, they've not been able to at least get... I don't know why they cannot just focus on one, one, and you know, just just one. That's just what I think. And I will say, um, this man lives in a parallel universe. And I will say, if that is what you guys do, discuss all the time during security meeting. I beg you, in God's name, cease wasting our money organizing them. Inept gold. Since Boko Haram have been defeated, not his commission should be cancelled. Outlaw and funding stop. Congratulations, Mr. Mumu. One of which is United States immigration ban. Now, okay, yes, I want say that's why America put a travel ban on us. True celebration of international pride. Yeah, someone is um actually um, posted the 2019 Global Terrorism Index. 
Let's move further. Here's almost a success against Boko Haram on Kububu. Can you just take a stroll to Sambisa Forest without entourage? At least you have recorded success against the terrorists. And which is true. If you've recorded success against the terrorists and you think there is nothing happening in the northern part of Nigeria, it's easy for the politicians there to go. We know there are a lot of issues of kidnapping here and there in the north. And I would say Ijebu Waterside marijuana is very strong. My neighbor smoked it and spent three hours searching for his phone using the touchlight of the same phone. Someone is supplying it to Abuja Power Brokers now and it is helping them see visions. Uh, wow, because um, I don't think um, there, there, there isn't any success that can be actually attributed. Um, fighting of Bukwaram, there are a lot of so brazen attacks of Bukwaram, shameless, without shame. You know, th th those guys are something else. We cannot even, they are not humans. Uh, yeah, someone say, which success? Same Bukwaram, you are surprised, still exists. Bubu, please, I think it's time to go for another foreign trip, especially as weekend is around. Effect of dementia. Uh -huh. Yeah, someone say, if you are taken aback by something, you are surprised or shocked. Uh huh. So <laughs> it's so funny. This is it. And someone posted this picture. You dropped this, meaning he dropped his brain. He dropped his brain. Now, I don't say you, you scandalize me by your complete incompetence. What success are you referring to? Someone here points. I say, yes, of course. Even America is jealous of our great achievements and success in containing security. That is why we've been added to the list of countries under the United States travel restrictions. Other nations will soon be displaying their jealousy. They are all jealous of Nigeria. Uh, of course. Yeah, yes, yeah, so I'm sure that speech was written by Femi Adishino. The man exhibits an uncommon form of delusion that has never ever been seen in any psychiatric ward. That speech has madness written all over it. That is what this person is saying. Another person, the success was why you are okay. <laughs> I think the person is still pointing at the visa ban and all of those global um, terrorist global index that uh, terrorism is, is a very serious issue. We know it's a global issue. Yes, someone say, everybody, pinch yourself to be sure you are not dreaming. Paradox. What other proof do we need to certify that this man has suffered significant mental incapacity? In what capacity? other proof do we need to certify that this man has suffered significant mental incapacity? incapacitation and therefore unfit for office unfit for office no wonder people are calling for security reforms this man is busy praising his failures yes someone say this man must return back to school and be taught elementary english to say his man is an illiterate to say this man is an illiterate is not an overstatement it's unfortunate we have him as a president of this country so what's your own opinion as regards this what's your opinion um, the president said that the world is um, celebrating Nigeria, celebrating his own government for actually disrupting terrorists in Nigeria, for actually crushing terrorists. In fact, the world is clapping right now for the fight. Yes, we know that there are a lot of military personnel that have been deployed. Yes, we have to also consider that. They have been deployed, and many of them from the south, they've been deployed into Sambisa Forest, deployed to this war-tour zone. Many of them have lost their limbs, their arms. Some of them are dead. Many of them, their families do not have you know, any form of compensation, no gratuity, nothing. You know, many of them, yes, these guys are really doing what they have to do, even though they have been incubated with weapons that are not up to standard. Imagine terrorists who go into a military barrack. A military barrack is supposed to be a place where it's so difficult for them to come in, but they go in, invade a military barracks, kill soldiers, and cut away weapons. Why? Because they've realized that those um, military barracks are very weak. They do not have what it takes to secure themselves, not to talk of securing lives and property. Many of times we've seen videos of people saying that, you know, the military personnel that are on the war field crying and shouting and saying, look at what they gave to us. We don't have food. We don't have this. Meaning the life, their life there, even though they signed, at least let them have the, uh, you know, the, the, the equipment, let them have it 
comfortable to a point whereby they can be able to win the war. You know, time has gone. It's no longer that kind of era where military men just go and die. No, they've, they've, they've moved to a sophisticated era where you can actually fight a war without you and losing all your limbs, losing your hands and dying just for nothing. A lot of people are dying and all of that. But now, you know what's happening? The same Boko Haram that is being fought, the same terrorist that is being fought, the government is giving and granting amnesty to certain groups of these terrorists, which, you know, it's not something. If you want to fight terrorism, fight terrorism to the core. Let there be no forgiveness if you're fighting terrorism. It's not like the issue of um, people kidnapping people in the Niger Delta. They, they are not killing their vill the villagers there, but fortunately, in the north, the same terrorists, Iswap and whatever name they call themselves, they go to villages, kill themselves, claiming that they want an Islamic caliphate where Sharia is being obeyed. Why can't they create Sharia state in Sambisa Forest and let us see them practicing the true Islam? But fortunately, that is not the case. That is not the case. They are rather there killing and maiming people. What's your own take about this? Buhari said, our success against Boko Haram brought Nigeria international pride. Drop it at the comment section. And while you're that, if you're not a member of this channel, um, kindly tap on the subscription button and the red notification icon bell below. It would alert you whenever videos are uploaded. Thanks for stopping by.